Hi everyone, my name is Demi Bernice and you are watching Demi TV. The goal of this video channel is to help you awaken your inner alpha so you can follow your dreams and find your authentic voice. And today I am very excited to share to you this content because we are going to talk about 10 best and easy ways for you to start making money online. Now, before I start this video, I would like to tell you that this are not the jobs that would make you earn a million dollars if you are working by yourself because this is the what we call active income and in active income you have to trade your time and services for money and of course i'm going to make a step-by-step -step video on each of these jobs just so you could have a guide on how to actually build this freelancing businesses online so without further ado All right, so let's start. In these 10 jobs, I will be telling you the job description, the equipment that's needed, and the average rate per hour or per project. So the very first one we have here is selling stock photos. If you are a person who fancy taking shots of people, of objects, or of photography in general, this one is the best for you. There are a lot of stock photo sites out there like Shutterstock, Deposit Photos, you could earn pretty much five dollars to ten dollars per photo and if you want to start this business or this online job you would probably prefer to upload your photos in a couple of different sites so that say for example you uploaded one photo for shutterstock and one photo for deposit photos now if your sales in shutterstock doesn't go well exactly in one month then the sales and deposit photos could help you lift that income right so you might prefer uploading a couple of photos on shutterstock and a couple of photos on a different site just so you would have a backup income yes the equipment that you will be needing of course a really good camera preferably an editing software like Photoshop the photos that you have to be uploading should not be less than 1080p 1080 pixels because these people who are going to Shutterstock or to these stock photo sites are book cover designers and they need high resolution photos. So if you only have a camera that is not professional and doesn't go beyond 1080 pixels, then please do not take this job because then you would have a very disappointing result. I would not recommend you guys who only have phones to take this job, right? Let's keep everything professional in the beginning and let's do not settle for mediocrity, all right? So the second one is becoming a YouTuber. I know a lot of you guys would not like this idea because a couple of people out there didn't, do not really like themselves to be in front of the camera and they feel like it's awkward or there's so much preparation that has to be done in recording a video. And I completely understand that because my boyfriend is like that too. But if you are the type of person who is like me, who's like being in front of the camera, who likes speaking so much and has has a basic knowledge in editing a video then this one is right for you a youtuber could technically own up to millions of subscribers and when you reach a good amount of subscribers then you could start running ads I think you need 90,000 views and 100 a oh, 1,000 rather 1,000 subscribers for you to be eligible to run ads on your YouTube channel and right now I only have a thousand subscribers as of August 2018 and I'm already earning $45 per month and that's really good amount just you know uploading content out there and not even doing anything with it just having the ads run through your videos the start of the beginning and the one in the desktop here on the right side right side and the banner below the video 
So that's pretty good, and I would recommend that for people. Again, if you do not think that your camera, your cell phone camera, or whatever it is that the device that you're using to record a video, if you don't think that's good, then maybe consider upgrading your equipment first before uploading videos. In becoming a YouTuber, you have to make sure that you are consistently uploading videos, not like Oh, I will upload this week, next two weeks I will not, and then the next three weeks I will. You have to be very consistent in uploading your videos because YouTube likes that. The more you upload your videos, the more YouTube will recommend your videos to other people. And yes, you have to consistently upgrade your equipments, not only the camera and the microphone, but also your editing skills. Third one is becoming a social media manager. Now this one does not require any skills at all. I am certain because a lot of us are in social media right now like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and we all know how to use these social media apps, right? Now the thing about becoming a social media manager is not only posting photos for clients because entrepreneurs today are literally very busy and there are so many things that they need to consider that that keeping up with their social media accounts is just not something that they want to spend time on. So this is a really good job. A lot of people have been looking for these types of people who can manage their social media for them. But again, it's not only simply uploading the photos. You also have to know what is the best time in Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook to upload and how do you get more reach. You also have to study what hashtags are best to use in the niche that your client is in for that post to get more reach all right the fourth one is transcribing videos again a lot of entrepreneurs are posting content on YouTube or on Facebook like this one videos and they need somebody who would transcribe their videos for them that means they need a person who would type in every single word that the content creator is speaking in front of the videos why because a a lot of learners out there, a lot of people would still prefer videos who has subscripts in the bottom of the video so they could understand the video better. And a lot of entrepreneurs would go beyond of these things just to please their audience. And that's one thing that you can leverage on. Transcribing videos would I think would take a lot of time because you know you have to make sure that you are typing the right word or not and sometimes the creator does not speak the words well or something the pronunciation is wrong and you might hear a different word you know you have to be really good in your hearing skills and your listening skills in this one but literally it doesn't require tons of skills to master this kind of job and a transcriber could literally earn $20 to $25 per hour of their transcribing work and if you think that you have the ability for that one then go for it next one is recording or narrating an audio file a lot of people out there are creating audiobooks and podcasts and sometimes they would need a person who would record the narration or the commercial for them or the introduction and in this type of job you would really need a professional equipment like this one this mic that I'm using, this is Rode NT-USB and I have been using it, this is actually not mine, this is my boyfriend's but we have been using it for two years now, two years in my case and his, I think this has, this microphone has been a while longer than that and this is giving us the ability to give a really high quality video like what you are hearing right now you could come close and it picks up almost all the sounds around you so you have to make sure also that aside from a really good equipment mic you would also need to make sure that your room is silent and you wouldn't hear any disturbing background noises while you are recording your audios, right? Technically, a narrator could earn $40 to $50 per hour on average. So, of course, a lot of people would still lowball and, you know, price themselves lower than that. But on average, that's how much they are earning. 
Next one is ghost writing, editing, and proofreading. In this informational era of ours where information is easily gathered, there are a lot of people out there who are continuously publishing blogs, written content like ebooks and books, and other kind of stuff, maybe PDF guides or something. They will be needing a professional editor a proofreader or a ghost writer for their blogs themselves. And if you think you have this kind of ability, this kind of skill, you are really good at English, you would be able to oftentimes spot the grammar mistakes and the spelling corrections, then this one is, I think, the best job for you. An editor could technically charge $500 to $1,000 per book. Of course, there's a lot of people who would charge lower than that, but you have to charge what you are worth. And pricing is one of the things that you need to really think about because it will not be easy. You might think, oh, I'll we'll just charge, you know, um, $5 per 1,000 words. And then that person, your client, would keep on coming back to you for revisions and you will get pissed, okay? So you might as well charge yourself high depending on the skill that you have so you would not have to go back and forth or you would not get pissed because you're only charging this little and that person would would be asking a lot more re re revisions rather from you. Next one is an online teaching job. There are a lot of people out there that have has tried this one because they think that teaching is very easy, you know? I've tried this one too because I graduated in education and after I quit my job just to get a steady income flowing to at least cover my groceries and all the small stuff, I tried to go online teaching and I was earning 25 pesos per hour, which is is 50 cents per class and that yeah per class per hour so that is very very low I think so you might want to research more on what websites would help you what websites are charging high as much as five dollars to ten dollars per hour preferably if they are hiring for online teachers right so the equipments that you might need in this one is a laptop of course and a headphone that has a microphone wait wait a second because i'm going to get mine okay so this is the one that i have this one has a microphone on it and i am still using this one up to this date this has been with me for two years now and has been really good this one is called uh this one's brand is clip tech and the microphone is really good also this one is a usb so you don't really need the audio jack for this one and i think this is one of the reasons why the microphone is really good because this one is usb the audio jack uh, I do not have an example right now, but if you see the tip of the headphones might might not be ideal because that one is made for audio and it might not absorb the sound coming from your microphone as perfect or as accurate as the ones that are using the USB thing, right? So yeah, you would need one like this if you want to get an online teaching job. And this, the price of this one is I think $20. I bought this for $20, okay. Next one is graphic designing. Now I know when you hear graphic designing, it's something like professional and a lot of people would shy away from this idea or from this type of online job because they know that it requires a lot of skill. But there are a lot of entrepreneurs out there who are only needing social media posts. Basically, you only need a very simple skill on graphic design for that one you should just know how to insert an image in a canvas put a text on top of it and then voila you have a social media post now i will be also teaching you how to uh, do an excellent graphic design i'll be teaching you the basics of graphic design in the upcoming videos but right now you don't really need photoshop to do that or to be able to create social media posts you only need to visit canva.com and that software will help you 
To create a social media post as easy as one, two, three, and in three minutes, you would definitely have a social media post of your very own because everything in Canva is already preset. Technically, all the stuff on Canva rather are templates and you just need to replace the images or replace the text in accordance to what your client needs or wants. A graphic designer could charge from $20 to $40 per hour depending on the skill, but of course I'm talking about the graphic designers like I am charging $30 per hour for graphic design work. But if you think you are not that good yet, then maybe you could charge $10 to $15 per hour, okay? Just so you would have a steady stream of income and you would not get pissed then again if your clients would ask for more revisions. But you could also charge $5 per per social media post, which is very reasonable. You know, the square things that we see on Instagram or on Facebook that's running in our news feeds, just simply a, a photo with the text on top of it, you could charge $5 each social media post for that. Right? Next one is website design. Like graphic design, a lot of people would shy away from web design also because they think they need to be really smart, know the coding and stuff when you are doing website design. But guess what? When I was 12 and 14 years old, that was like 10 years ago, I was able to create my very own blog with the WordPress and I know the ins and outs already. So for you to be able to make a really good website design, you might need a longer time to learn the ins and outs of WordPress, preferably three to four to five months or six months even to know the ins and outs of WordPress, but definitely you could earn it, you could learn it rather by yourself. Again, this is an era where information is easily at hand and sometimes it is very easy for you to just search how are you going to do this, how are you going to do that, how would you change the theme, how would you put a button inside of it, etc. These things can now be searchable on Google or on YouTube and I will be also teaching you the basics of WordPress or website design in the upcoming videos. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe already and I will be teaching you more of that soon. So a website design is one of the most high paying, high paying jobs online and you could technically charge as low as $50 to 10 grand. And yes, I am saying this correctly. You heard me right. You can charge from $50 to 10 grand depending on your skills. Right. The last but not the least, of course, is becoming a virtual assistant. Now, there are a lot of online entrepreneurs who are, again, very busy with their things and they would not be able to manage a couple of tweaks here and there in their website or something or a lot of admin tasks, um, keeping track of their files, their contracts and everything. And these are very basic things that you can do even if you don't have skills. You just really need to learn them via Google or via YouTube. YouTube tutorials so this is very doable you just need to become an assistant that is living from far away from your clients who will assist in keeping track of their contracts their expenses or something um, you could really be of great help to entrepreneurs out there who doesn't know what they're doing sometimes and are a little bit all over the place so they would be needing your help your manpower to keep track of their clients, of their contracts, of the little things that they need to be done. So it would probably require a lot of skill in the long run, but again, it will be easy because you know there's a lot of resources out there on Google and on YouTube that you can search a lot of how to videos. Technically, you would have your very own assistant at hand to help you whenever you are in need of help in technical stuff. So a, a virtual assistant from the Philippines only charges five to six dollars and I know I'm from the Philippines and I really disagree on the pricing scale of the virtual assistants, most virtual assistants in the Philippines because they're only charging five to seven dollars per hour but this is very low, right? Doesn't mean that you're earning in dollars that is already huge and doesn't mean that 
you don't have a lot of skills right now but you will be learning a lot in the long run and you want to be paid for that learning so technically you would want to charge higher than ten dollars ten to fifteen dollars to start and then maybe if you think that you have a lot more skills than that then start charging 15 to 20 to 25 to 30 because you will be gaining a lot of skills in the long run like i said and it is so fun and it's so fulfilling to be paid while you are learning you will be doing researches for these people and that will not be easy so might as well charge higher than ten dollars so you would love your job and you would love working for those people right so i hope this video has helped you in compiling ideas and what you can do to become or to start making money online is not meant to teach you how to earn a million dollars per month but at least these jobs could get your foot at the door and start making money online right away i'm not saying that you have to quit your nine to five job asap because that would be very hard preferably you want at least six to nine months of saved up income from your previous nine to five job before you quit your job and start working online because you wouldn't know what have what would happen in the long run and the the beginning of the process of building a client base online might take a while okay and there will be months where and you would not get any clients so you have to be prepared for that again save up six to nine months of your income in your previous nine to five job before you jump into working online and i hope this video helps everyone i will see you in the next one